Hello there, Reason People, Pooper here, and welcome to my channel. And today's gonna to be a little bit of a speed run, so I'm gonna be going through things, but I'm not gonna be doing like what I could refer to as one of my in-depth tutorials. I just wanted to show people how quick it is once you've got things set up, or how you can actually get MIDI data out of VSTs and back into Reason, and I'll show one or two other little tricks, but it's gonna be done quickly, because obviously I've got other videos, people are watching them, and they're thinking, oh, is it really worth them spending time? Because Okay, for someone like me, yes, it's very easy to set things up. I've had a computer background, you know, since day dot. And I understand other people when I come to doing these things, it's not, doesn't seem to be that straightforward, but it is worth the time and effort to get things set up. Because once you've got things set up and what I'm gonna be demonstrating today, I set most of it up years ago and I haven't had to touch it since. You know, so you just kind of set it and forget it. So as I say, I'm gonna be going a bit quick. I try and zoom in where I can remember and hopefully I'm gonna drag the right screens across into the view, because I do get confused because I have many, many screens that I'm actually monitoring at the same time. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna start, press play on the start, uh, the transport, and then we've got a little timer and we can sort of uh, track that for a little bit of fun. So let's see how well we can actually do. I'm gonna have a Europa, why not? Because that's what I'm gonna come back and drive. Let's zoom in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is put my, uh, that's my loop pack port. So that's what I'm gonna come back to, that's what I'm gonna to talk to. So under my instruments, I'm gonna want a curse view because that's what I like to use. It's funny that I still go for the VST2 version. That's just me. It's opened up on another screen, so let me go and grab that across. Which curse view, you've got to um, get onto this little arrow here and you've got to pull it out and you have to put it out because you've got some little controls here hidden away. And I will zoom in a second and I'm gonna pick up a slightly different VST that I normally use, only because someone was, was requested this. Um, and this has actually opened up another window. Let me go and grab that straight away and pull it over here. If not, I'll forget. So that's that little device. That's what we've pulled in. It's just this little device here. And I'm gonna say keep open at the top. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually grab up my uh, loop back. Where's my loop back? There's my loop back. That's the port I want. I'm just gonna grab that. Pull that down, push that into there, and then zoom out and push play there. So we're just over a minute and we've already got MIDI data coming back into Reason. So let's, um, let's push this to one side and let's see if we can just tune in Europa so it just sounds like a little bit better or a bit different or something, I don't know. Next trick, I'm actually gonna pull up a VST. So even if you don't have a loop back, we can come in here and we can say, hey, let's, let's pull something up in here. We can connect this up to the MIDI. Let's put this to the output so it's gonna come out for reason. Let's go and grab Vital, here it is. So now we've got obviously a VST, we've got, uh, and we don't need a loop back for this bit. So this device up takes a little while. Oh, 
this one up to some different ports. So these little green dots here relate to my ports on the back of my, whoops, on the back of my VST. I didn't mean to do that there. It's my VST to my element, sorry, that's what I meant. And so I'm just gonna very quickly here, right click, route to new channel. Kit loaded up, shall we? Right. What sort of time we got? We look, we're even at four and a half minutes. God, see how quick things are going. I think this thing's got some different patterns. I don't know what. Let's have a look. Just a very quick amend before I actually forget. Obviously, um, or oh, I did forget, in Elements, what we can actually do is up at the top here, I can say I'm gonna sync that. So that's now sync to Reason. So if I was to move this up to say 155, you can see that's up to 155. Obviously in this particular device as well, so you might have to go to your MIDI devices, there's a sync button. So as soon as I click on that sync button, you can see it's now saying 155. So obviously anything I change now in Reason is gonna sync that, and that's gonna obviously sync into here. So there we go, 143, that should be 143. Obviously we can go on and on and on and on, but the point is we can do things extremely quickly. So thank you for watching and bye for now.